Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you an incredibly simple but gorgeous card using the Love What You Do stamp set. Uh, this stamp set is available for purchase before it goes live in the new catalog. Um, <clears throat> and so... Of course, I want to give you lots of ideas for what to do with that product once you get it. So let's get started right away. For this project, we're using a Berry Burst card base, some basic black Whisper White, this gorgeous glimmer paper, um, and our champagne foil sheet. Now I'm going to have all of the dimensions for this card in my blog. Check the description under this video. If you're watching on YouTube, I will list the link directly to my blog where you can get all of the dimensions for these layers. Um, it should be right in the description beneath. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing some embossing. I'm using this brand new... Um, embossing folder from the big catalog. I think it's called the Lovely Floral. It comes in the largest bundle that you can get right now with the Share What You Love promotion going on. And we're going to be embossing right on our champagne foil paper. I chose the champagne foil because I think that one looks the sharpest with Berry Burst. Now, with my Big Shot, I typically have it set up sitting next to me with my magnetic platform and my two cutting plates. When you're cutting any of your, I shouldn't say cutting, when you're embossing any of your dies, you are not going to be able to use your magnetic platform. So for those of you who have purchased the magnetic platform and have your set up that way and are trying to figure out why you can't get those embossing folders to go through, remember you need to switch back to the Big Shot platform. Now also for this particular embossing folder, this is one of our Dynamic Textures embossing folder. And this is much thicker than the regular embossing folder, which means we only need one cutting plate. So I'm going to line up my paper on the inside of this card, and <clears throat> I want my images on my foil paper to be debossed. That means that the Stampin' Up! logo is down when I run it through my Big Shot. And if you want, you can feel the area that's raised up. That's the area you're going to want pressing into your layer. So I'm just going to line this up in my embossing folder here. And then I make my Big Shot sandwich. So I put my platform first, my embossing folder next, and then my cutting plate. And I'm just going to run that through. And when we're done, we've got this beautiful debossed image. I love using foil sheets for my embossing folders, especially these large, I guess you would call these large photos or large image embossing folders. They work just perfect. I absolutely love them. So that's another great tip for using your um, foil sheets. I have a tendency to buy a lot of paper that... Um, I don't always use, and so this is a great way to use up those foil sheets. Okay, I've got my card base. This is going to be a tall card that opens this way, so that means to get a nice crisp folded edge here, you need to score it because the grain of the paper is going this way, so we need to break that grain with the score line before we fold. This card is incredibly easy to put together. I'm gonna to do a little bit of stamping here first on a scrap of Whisper White. 
and I'm doing that in my Berry Burst. I'm going to be stamping the sentiment that says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. And then all I'm going to do is take my snips and just cut around the sentiment. scraps. All right. Now we can assemble the front of our card. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my snail and adhere this beautiful glimmer paper. I'm gonna have to fix that this is broken or empty so no worries I will just go to my liquid glue which I always have ready to go I actually store my glue like this in a little cup and the tools I use all the time I stored in a little cup on my desk right near where I'm going to be working okay center this on my card base and the glimmer paper, I like to flip over when I'm gluing down. I really do this anytime I'm using liquid glue, but especially the glimmer paper because it's rough like sandpaper. And so it's just easier to get that nice smooth um, grip. Okay. So next we're going to glue down our embossed foil paper in the center of our basic black layer. And again, remember, I will have all of the dimensions for these on my blog. You can get the link right down below in the details of this video. And remember, if you love what I'm doing here, Show me some love, send me a comment, and share my video with your friends. I absolutely love that. Okay, I love ribbon. I put ribbon on a lot of my cards, and so I'm going to be using this Berry Burst Metallic Edge Ribbon to add a little pizzazz to this card. So I'm just going to wrap that around. And then tie this in a knot. All right. Oh my gosh, my fingers don't want to work today. I just got back from vacation, so my fingers aren't used to stamping. Okay. And then I'm just going to snip off the ends. Now, I always like to save my scraps of ribbon because you just never know when you just want something tucked behind a layer or something like that. And... Then we're going to use some dimensionals here and pop this up. This dimensional sheet is one of the big ones I got from the one of our paper pumpkin kits. I always make sure to get full use of all the supplies that I get in that paper pumpkin kit. 
And I'm gonna secure one more in the center of this card. All right. Some of you might be able to hear my dogs barking in the background. Um, they're outside enjoying the beautiful weather and I have the windows open because it's a finally nice weather here in Wisconsin. Okay, I'm also going to pop up this sentiment on a couple dimensionals. And we're just going to put that right here over the top of our ribbon. In fact, you can. I'm going to switch this up just a little bit. And I'm going to peel this off and move this more towards the side. If you peel these off sooner than later, you can kind of get more use out of these, another use if you uh, place your layer in the wrong area. And I want this to kind of come off of my card like so, so I'm just adjusting that. There we go. And the front of our card is done. So glimmery, so shiny. I love it. I think that black goes so good with that glimmer paper and that berry burst. Okay, next we're going to stamp the inside of our card. And let me grab my berry burst. So I'm using the flowers from this stamp set and the first thing I'm going to do is stamp off and then I'm going to stamp these in the bottom corner and then the card wouldn't be complete without a sentiment on the inside. This is going to be a thank you card for a friend of mine. So I'm using the thank you sentiment with my memento and then I'm just stamping thank you right here over the top of the flowers. Now all that's left to do is adhere our stamped layer to the inside and I'm going to set this on a basic black layer first. And then we'll adhere this to our card base. Get this out of the way. We have just a little bit of that berry burst peeking out around the edges. So we've got that subtle color. There! And our card is finished. Isn't that adorable? Um, I've got another card here I made in white. I didn't stamp the inside of this one yet, but you can see the differences here. I think this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. At the end of this video, you'll see a picture of me up in the upper left-hand corner. If you click that, you'll subscribe to my video. If you wanna watch more videos from me, click down here to the bottom on the right and you'll see um, a playlist of more of my card making videos. Thanks again for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you check out my blog for the dimensions on this card um, and share this video if you love the project I made. Have a good one.